Did you ever wonder about challenging yourself these days on how you personally can stretch a $20 bill in groceries that could last for you and your family a few days this week? Why? I know, I know. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan. Welcome to another episode on the Save Money and More with Jan channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate everybody's time. And I hope that everyone is doing well today, as always. Did you ever wonder about challenging yourself just for the heck of it? Not for the fun of it, because this is not a fun challenge. Why am I saying that? There are many people out there who, at this exact moment in time, have to, H-A-V-E, have to take a $20 bill and perhaps stretch it all they can up until their next paycheck in a few days, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little different from when you want, when you take a $20 bill because you want to see what it's like to stretch $20 into something for a few days of meals for your family. Some people, what they're doing is they're literally not eating three meals a day, okay? Some people on purpose like to eat less meals a day. Some people follow certain plans that perhaps they want to have one or two meals a day. That's everybody's, you know, totally choice. But that there are some people that rather have three meals a day, smaller meals or traditional meals, because that's the way they were raised and whatever. But whatever the case may be, taking a $20 bill in this year, 2024, and trying to stretch it to the max for a few days of meals is a challenge, quite a challenge, okay? But it is not impossible. It is not impossible. Sometimes you're going to buy things you normally maybe wouldn't eat. Oh, but Jan, you always tell me don't buy things that your family doesn't like. There's a big difference sometimes between when you have to eat versus, oh, but I want a porterhouse steak, for example, okay? So let's say that you could tolerate having a turkey burger because turkey, uh, ground turkey is, is still nutritious as opposed to ground sirloin or, or again with the porterhouse. So you see where I'm going with that? Sometimes one has to lower their preferences and who knows, might even retrain the brain to actually like it if you flavor things up a certain way. That's why I'm always big in believing it's good to have nice seasonings, nice flavor, nice flavorings, nice, uh, you know, things of that nature to, you know, doctor up a, a recipe a little more than usual. But ask yourself, what can you do with 20 bucks? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you recommend as a staple to help last those few days before payday could be two days, could be three days before payday. What would you do with a $20 stretch in 2024 as an experiment, as a challenge? And for anyone that is, you know, really going through the struggle, you know, it yourself, you, you know, you know, when it's time to, you know, get extra help when it comes to food. Wishing everybody an amazing, fantastic day. Stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay well. Don't forget to come back later today for my longer form content. Clicking like certainly helps the channel. Thank you again. Have a blessed day.